What's up drivers? My name's Tito. It's my first uh, video ever. Um, I used to have a different channel called Drive Hard, but I got rid of it. Um, Y'all recognize me. I was doing CR England. Uh, but I got rid of that channel to get started on a new journey. So pretty much uh, what I've been doing is a bunch of local stuff. But lately my cousin, he started up a business about five years ago. And uh, I came over to help him out. I want to help him grow, God willing, get my own truck as well. But it's a really big transition for me. Because I've been driving drive van for 10 years and I just jumped on doing flatbed I can tell you it's a hell of an experience and it's a lot different than driving than pulling vans uh, not to mention I, I do like it though uh, it keeps me in shape keeps me moving I started feeling a bit lazy tired all the time driving vans and when my cousin asked me if I wanted to jump over I said hell yeah so here I am I just I, I was with my cousin he trained me for about a month I'm officially on my own we mainly do California to Texas runs we're based out of California famoso lanes that's the name I, I'm doing I just dropped off I picked up in uh, Long Beach and I delivered just now by Dallas, Texas. Uh, it's Friday. Thank God they, they found me a load yesterday or else I'd be here all weekend. And I'm on my way right now to go pick up that load. I wish I could have shown y'all. I'll post a picture right now. the load looked like but I wish I could have showed you how I strapped it and tarped it but uh, we're headed to another company I don't know what I'm picking up yet but I got two drops in California it's going to Hawthorne and it's going to Ontario so I'll keep y'all updated so before I go and show y'all this next load I kind of want to answer some of the questions that you might have about flatbedding or if you're uh, thinking about going into flatbed coming from uh, either reefer or dry van or something else um, I'll tell you what it is very physically demanding and you're gonna get tired and it's gonna hurt your first couple months uh, and, and what I mean by that is uh, you're gonna get sore if you're not used to physical activities uh, me myself the reason I went flat bedding was because I gained over 40 pounds pulling dry vans and I uh, had a I lacked physical activity um, you know I work 12 14 hours get home you want nothing to do with lifting weights or going to the gym you want to go straight to bed and so uh, I wasn't doing anything to stay in shape. So I gained 40 pounds, my blood pressure is high now. And so uh, my cousin, dude asked me, my cousin, the dude asked me if I wanted to drive for him. <laughs> and I said, hell yeah, dude, I need to get in shape, I said. So yeah, my first weekend, I strained my neck. And I was only able to move it so much, probably right up to here. I couldn't turn it all the way. And so I finally went, I went to uh, get acupuncture, uh, relieve some of the pain, but overall it just hurt to turn my, my head. And I can feel it in my muscles right here. 
So I continue to work like that because I couldn't afford to take time off. And then I went to a chiropractor this week and I think that did it. I can turn my neck further. The pain is 80% gone. And I just need to do a few more sessions and I think I'll be back to normal. But that's what I'm saying. It's very physically demanding where you can strain something if you're not used to being physically active. A question that you might have is, can I sit in my truck while, while they load me? I would say you have a very low chance of sitting in the truck as they load you because you got to be out there or assisting the loader in getting your load centered on the flatbed. So if you just let him do his thing, he's going to leave it as is. And you might have a load that might shift on you or that's hanging over the edge. And if they close, if they close by the time you start strapping, they're gonna say that's too bad, but they're not even gonna be around to fix it for you. So, I mean, there is some companies out there that that will tell you, oh, wait in your truck, it's too dangerous out there, but, but most of the time, you gotta be assisting. Also know that if you're comfortable sitting in your truck waiting, that's no longer an option because you have to strap and tarp rain or shine. I just got done unloading in the rain for the first time. And in just these past few weeks, it's been extremely hot when I'm loading in California. So if you don't mind extreme weather, whether it's high winds, snow, rain, 30 degree weather, 10 degree weather, 120 degree weather, if you don't mind any of it, then I'd say go for it. But if you're not used to it, it might be a little hard at first. Like, I don't mind the cold weather. I love cold weather. But the heat is what gets me. I start feeling like I'm about to pass out. That's why you gotta stay hydrated. I started drinking a lot of uh, Pedialyte to retain water. So if you don't mind extreme weather, let's do it. You're gonna be required to get on the flatbed at times uh, when you're strapping or when you're tying down your tarps. Uh, so just be mindful. That's, that's what you'll be doing. It's all really just physically demanding. And I would say if you don't believe that you're physically fit enough to do it, I mean, really, there's only one way to try it out. And that's just applying at a company that's willing to train you. Uh, they will, like, uh, for example, systems transportation. I know they take on people with no experience in the flatbed division. So I would say give it a shot, hit them up. Uh, but they will require you to do a physical test. And that's, from what I remember, it's lifting a tarp. And I believe a tarp can weigh about 60, 80 pounds. If you can lift up a tarp, because you're going to be rolling that tarp and putting it on the flatbed when there's no forklift drivers available. So... What I like to do is I like to throw it on the tire and then roll it up. I'm still not strong enough to just throw it on top, but 
either way they say it's not safe to do so but one day it will so if you have any more questions about flatbedding write it down in the comments below please subscribe i want y'all to see me on this journey of uh starting off and the flatbed industry and working my way up to get a truck so it looks like we're getting loaded with bleachers today oh that's some gnarly wind uh bleachers uh I got the shit beat out of me. Just finished unloading, or I just finished loading. And that's exactly what I'm talking about when I'm saying, when I said, you gotta be okay with working in all types of weather conditions. And I had to tarp just now in the fucking wind. I am fucking stressed, I'm pissed off. It was fucking hard because I put it twice. I put it twice on top and the wind just fucking blew it. I just arrived in Santa Ana. I took down the tarp. As you can see, it's laid out on the floor. About to roll it up, unload and Then we got one more stop after this. It just sucks because this whole trailer is mixed. All the materials for the bleachers, it's all mixed. It's gonna take some time, but we're gonna have to figure it out. First load was a success. I guess just the stuff that was in the back was uh, supposed to go to the first stop. Well, it's a good thing I removed the tarp too. That way it just got it over with. As soon as I got here to the second stop, uh, it started, started unloading me right away. Because uh, it's a high school, bleachers for a high school. Pretty dope. But uh, this is what they're doing now. Small piece by small piece. It's gonna take forever. got a load to pick up in Compton right now right after this one and uh, I think we're going back to Texas uh, so I don't know if my cousin's gonna team with me this time because he's gonna meet me here he said he's driving to the school so uh, I don't know let's see what he says that's the last of it that's that Completely unloaded, waiting for my cousin, gonna head out to Compton. And I think that's the end of this video. Uh, I'll put my next one up. I'll start recording that one. And uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, uh, please subscribe. 
uh, and like this video. And uh, I guess, do they still have that little bell for notifications? I'll let you guys know whenever I upload new videos. All right, thanks y'all. See you on the next one.